Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Today I have a fun unboxing to do with you guys. This is the first holiday unboxing I get to do with you guys. This is the Look Fantastic Advent Calendar. Unfortunately, I am a little late getting this video up. They did send this to me to, to, to share with you guys and everything, so they sent this to me for free just to share it with you guys. However, I am a little late getting it up, but don't worry. I was looking on their site and they have a ton of other advent calendars. So if advent calendars are your thing or if that's something you'd like to purchase for somebody, definitely check out your site. I will have a link and a code for you guys below to be able to save $20 off of advent calendars. I'm not sure if it's all of them or if it's this one specific. I'm not sure if they'll bring it back in stock. If they do, then you can obviously save the $20, which is great. So let's go ahead and unbox this because I'm very excited to see what all is in here. I know it's got a very high dollar value. I saw it, they, I think the price is in like euros. So I'm gonna have to figure out how to like convert it. I'm not real good at that type of thing. So I'll convert it for you guys and let you guys know the actual pricing for it. I do know there's supposed to be some really good high quality, like luxury brand names in here. So I'm very excited. All in all, I think the box itself is absolutely beautiful. I think this will be a fantastic gift to unwrap and have under the tree for somebody. So if you're somebody who is a beauty lover or if you know a beauty lover, then this will be a great gift to give to them. So let's go ahead and unbox this and see what's in here. I am stoked. I don't know about y'all. I'm gonna slide my table over so I can be able to unbox it. So when you get it, like I said, it goes come in this box. It's pretty heavy too. I don't know what it weighs. I wish I could weigh it but it feels pretty heavy. And then inside of here, it says, look fantastic this Christmas. Count down to Christmas in style with this look fantastic advent calendar. Open the doors to 25 days of luxurious beauty treats for you to indulge in. Specially curated to help you feel beautiful and look fantastic. This festive season with love from the team fantastic. Look fantastic. So here are all the little boxes I love. The inside to this, I think it's very, very nice. Like this is a really nice advent calendar. I've seen some advent calendars before where they're, and no offense, but they're kind of cheesy. This is not cheesy whatsoever. I feel like this is really well made, really well constructed. So let's go ahead and we'll start with number one here. And number one is actually the gold box. So we're gonna go ahead and see what's inside of there. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna set this up this way. If I can pull it out, might make it a little easier on myself here. Hopefully that's not in the way of you guys. All right, so in the first drawer, we have this item right here. I don't know what it is, but we're gonna find out together. So let's see what it is. Oh my gosh, Natasha Denona. So this is Natasha Denona blush and highlight powder, and it's in the shades um, Oliver Glow. Wait, I don't think that's the shade name. So <laughs> we're gonna open it and find out. That's what we're gonna do. So here is what the little blush and highlight duo looks like. I love the packaging. I love this gold packaging Natasha Denona did on her uh, items. This is a really pretty pink blush and a beautiful highlight right here. These are the shades blush and highlighter powder in the shades what? I can't read that. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna need glasses. I don't know what it says. I'm gonna have to list it below for you guys because I cannot read it. I have terrible like close up vision. I don't know. Is that called like farsighted, nearsight? Nearsighted is when you can't see things far away, correct? Yes, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Either way, so I cannot read it. I will have it linked below for you guys though. Let me swatch it so I can show you what it looks like as well. That probably is very helpful. So here we have the blush. The blush is a really pretty pink. And then we have the highlight and the highlight is a beautiful, almost like a up and like an opal but a little bit of gold mixed in with it so i think it's a beautiful combination so i'm very excited about both of those the next one is number two and let's see if we can find number two number two is down on the bottom here so this one here is number two so we're going to open that one up Ooh, it looks like a brush guys so we have a brush it's a little bit bent but that's no big deal and it's by i think it, it's a Lexi. yes this is the Lexi Tapered Highlighter brush, brush. I have my tongue tied today. This is one of my favorite brushes. Actually, Lexi brushes themselves, I think, are fantastic. So I love the quality. I love the feel of their brushes. I've not had a problem when I've washed them. I don't have a problem with like hairs falling out or anything. So these have always stood the test of time for me. So I'm very excited to have another highlighting brush because I do have one, but I'll have a backup now. So very excited about that. Now we're moving on to number three. So number three is over here in the corner. So here is number three. And we're gonna pull that one out. Ooh, something big. 
what is this? Ooh, this is the, oh my gosh, I love Molten Brown. This is the Molten Brown London Delicious Rhubarb and Rose Bath and Shower Gel. This is one of my favorite like body care brands. Oh, I just stuck it up my nose. Good job, Tiff. I'm gonna be blowing bubbles out my nose now, so <laughs> ignore me. It smells really good. It's got a nice rose scent. It's not that like super over floral scent. I feel like my under eyes look really aged today for some reason. I don't know what's going on here. But either way, I really love the way this stuff smells. And I've, like I said, I've tried lots of things from the Molten Brown brand and I've had really good luck with them washing your body and making you feel very clean and smelling fantastic. So really love that. Number four is, oh my gosh, where is number four? Here we go. Here is number four. Ooh, another big container. So here is what number four looks like. And we have Rodile. Rodile is another really great brand. I love this brand. This is probably one of the first higher end skincare brands that I started purchasing. I purchased it at Ulta to initially to begin with. And this is the Dragon's Blood Cleansing Water. It's a micellar water with hyaluronic acid and vitamins B3 to gently cleanse and soothe the skin. Rodile is pretty expensive. I think all these brands are pretty luxurious. So this is a really great thing to have in the beauty box. So I'm very excited about having this. And number four, five, I was going to say four again. No, number five is here. Oh, we have something in a little jar, it looks like maybe. So here's what the box looks like on the inside. And then we have, what is this? This is by the brand um, Mina. Mina? I think it's Mina. I'm not positive. Let me double check, see if there's another way to read the brand. It's a cream eyeshadow. It is by the brand, I think it's Xena. 3INA, and it's 532, the cream eyeshadow. Oh, that is a really pretty color. Let's swatch that. Oh, that looks beautiful. Oh, wow. Look at that color, guys. That is gorgeous. So, that is a cream eyeshadow. I'm not a huge cream eyeshadow fan, but I do like using them as a base to put down. If you're going to go in and make a bold eye look, they're great for using as a base. I need to grab a towel here. Maybe. Let's see what we got here. We got some little scented wipes. Banana scented, my favorite. So, if I could open them. Okay, got it. All right, here we go. Got that cleaned off now. All right, number six. So now we're on to number six, and that is right here. So here is number six. Oof, I almost dropped the whole box. Oh my gosh. So here's what the box for number six looks like. And we have, we have Philip Kingsley. Now this is a brand I have never heard of, so I'm very excited to see what this is. This is an elasticizer, elasticizer therapies. It's a deep conditioning treatment, I think for your hair, I'm pretty sure. Um, it says, before shampooing, thoroughly wet hair and apply in sections. Work into hair with fingertips, cover up with a shower cap, and leave on for 10 to 20 minutes. The longer, the better. So this is like a pre-shower type thing. So you do this before you shower, which is nice because sometimes it's nice to do that while you're like doing other things that you need to take care of. So go ahead and put your hair mask on. Let's see if we can smell this. I always, you guys know I'm a huge person about way, the way something smells. If it doesn't smell good, then I'm not going to use it. Oh my gosh, this smells really good. It smells very clean. It smells kind of like lotion, but better. So it's got a very creamy scent to it. So that is exciting. All right. Now number seven. We have, where is number seven? Here we go. Here's number seven. And we have what's in this box right here. I love how they're all individually wrapped. Not only is it in the advent calendar, so you have the little drawer to pull out, but they're wrapped too. So you, it's literally like a gift every day for yourself. So this one is Ren. This is the Ren Ready Set Glow Daily AHA Tonic. AHAs are for above the skin, I'm pretty sure. BHAs are below the surface. So AHAs will help to like fluff off the dead skin and stuff. So very excited about this as well. I don't think I've tried too much from the Ren brand. So very excited to see how it's gonna work. And number eight is, where is number eight? Um, here, no, that's nine, eight. <laughs> okay, and then here's what the box looks like. And we have another, it looks like a little, oh, Eve Lom. Mm, I've been really excited about trying some things from Eve Lom because I've heard great things like 
the times that I've been on YouTube or the, the whole whatever. As long as I've been on YouTube, I've heard great things about this brand, so I'm very excited to see how this works, what it is actually first. This is a cleanser. Um, this is for your face for five seconds to close the pores. Gently pat with the towel. Oh, wait, what? I was reading the last part of it. I'm like, what? Very confused. So it does have instructions on here. Very small, but it's got instructions on how to use this for your skin. Let's see what it smells like. It looks kind of like um, balmy. So it's got like a balm texture to it. It smells really good. It's got a little bit of like a hint of, um, it's not spearmint, like maybe, what is that I'm smelling? Uh, it's making my mouth water, that's weird. Uh, let's see here if we can find out what the ingredient is in there because I'm smelling something that's pretty, smells like a, a um, like an essential oil almost. Let's see, what do we have? A uh, warm or small amount, ingredients, liquid, da, da, da. What is the ingredient I'm smelling in here? I don't see it. Eucalyptus, that's what it is. It's got eucalyptus in it, so it smells, it's not strong scented of eucalyptus, but you can definitely smell it. So if you don't like eucalyptus, you might not like that cleanser, but it doesn't seem like it's gonna be overpowering and eucalyptus is pretty calming, so that's awesome. Now we're moving on to number nine, that eyeshadow guys, I just try to wipe my hand off and it's not coming off. So that's a really good cream eyeshadow. Here is what number nine looks like, right? Yes, number nine. And let's, <laughs> this one reminds me of like a candy cane wrap. Ooh, we have the Diego Dalma Palma. This is the Malta Ochi Eye Pencil. I've never heard of this brand either. It does have a 24 month expiration. It's a sharpening style pencil. So let's see, it seems creamy. So that's great because sometimes when you get the pencil style, I think they can get a little bit dry and are hard to apply to your eyes. And I don't like to rub or pull a lot around my eyes because I'm getting up there in age and I don't need to cause any more damage than's already been done. So that's awesome. Number 10, now we're on to 10. Here we go. Number two. Oh my gosh, I almost dropped it again. Here is what number 10 looks like. And we have, oh my gosh, one of my absolute favorite skincare brands. This is the Ritual of Sakura. So this is the Celebrate Each Day Body Scrub. It's got organic rice and cherry blossoms. If you guys have never tried their brand, highly recommend you check it out. They do sell their stuff on Ulta. I love getting their brand for their foaming shower gels. Oh my gosh, their shower gels smell so, so good. All right, let's see what this smells like. Oh, it's got a nice safety seal on here. Oh, smells like cherries. Oh, if you love cherries, it's gonna make me hungry. I love like fruits, I don't know about you guys, but it smells amazing. I love body scrubs because especially like before you shave your legs, use a nice body scrub on your legs and then shave, you'll have a nice smooth shave so and it'll last a little bit longer. So love that. Now we're moving on to number 11, and 11 is here. Here we go. And we have this item right here. So this is, ooh, this is the Tan Lux Super Glow Hyaluronic Self Tan Serum. It's a gradual tanner. So I'm assuming you put this on your face. It says apply four to 12 drops directly onto your skin, massaging in circular motions and avoiding the eye area. Additional drops will increase depth of color. Reapply as needed. Okay, I'm excited about that because we are getting into the season where we're not gonna be getting a little lot of sun anymore. So this will be nice to use over the winter months so I can make, I think sometimes if you just smell like summery things and you make yourself feel summery, it can make you feel like you're in summer because I get kind of like seasonal depression. So this will be great because I like feeling like it's summer all the time. So very cool. All right. The next one is, let's see, we have number 12. So here is number 12. So here's what it looks like. And then we have, ooh, a lipstick. This is the Illamasqua. Um, this is the loaded lip polish this packaging is really nice i love the packaging to this i like how it has like the peekaboo little area you can see through so that's really cool as well so let's see what this looks like that's a pretty color let's watch it Ooh, it's a really pretty color that would be a great color it looks almost like what i'm wearing now actually it really does it's exactly like what i'm wearing right now <laughs> go figure you can tell i have like 
a lipstick tone that I like. So this is like something I would typically wear. So I'm very excited about that. What does it smell like? Let me see if it has a scent to it. I don't smell anything. So if you don't like lip products that are scented, you would enjoy this. So that is awesome. It's very creamy too. So it's not like sticky, it's just creamy. Now we're moving it to 12, we're on to 13. And lucky number 13 is here. Well, let's see what we have. Oh my gosh. Ooh, this is something different. This is like, what is this? This feels like clothes or like, I don't know what this is. It's probably obnoxiously noisy, so I do apologize. Oh, it's a little mask, an eye mask. Awesome. So you can look fantastic the next day after you get a nice restful sleep. This is by the brand Glove. So I love the way it feels. It's like silky. So if you like a more silky type of eye mask, this is great. I've been using a silk pillowcase to help with the breakage of my hair, which this will probably be great as well because it's not going to tug and pull on your hair at all. That's why I use the silk hair ties as well. So I love that. That's awesome. And now we're on to number 14. 14 is here. Let's see what we have now. We have a little thing like this. And then we have Elemis. This is one of my absolute favorite brands. I had first tried it on a cruise ship and I fell in love with it. So this is the Elemis Pro Collagen Oxygenating Night Cream. I am so excited about this because this is a very expensive brand. And I've seen really good results with it. I know that, you know, some people disagree. They don't think they have results with it, but I've seen good results with it. So it is a nice cream. So I will be slathering that all over my skin tonight for sure. So I'm very excited about that. The next thing is number 15 and we are down to here. Ooh, what's this? I love that they even included the little gel things to make sure that it didn't get any kind of moisture. So that's awesome as well. Let's see. Uh-oh, I think this one might have leaked a little bit. Uh-oh, we got a little leakage. This is the Vitamin C Serum by the brand E-Cooking. It's a Moisture Boost brand, um, allergy certified. So I'm excited. I do love a good Vitamin C Serum because the Vitamin C has been helping me to clear my acne scars on my skin because it helps to brighten and lighten any kind of scarring you have going on. So I'm very excited to try another Vitamin C skincare. Let's see what this smells like. It doesn't have a scent to it. That's not a bad thing. Sometimes I do like when it smells like orangey or like citrus, so I do like that. But if it doesn't, that's even better because scented things on your skin is not the best. So this is awesome. Then we're on to number 16. And 16 is here. So here's what 16 looks like. Oh, I almost dropped it again. How many times am I gonna almost drop it? So there's what 16 looks like. I got boxes stacked everywhere. They're gonna start tumbling. We have the Deep Sleep Body Cocoon by This Works. This is the multitasking beauty sleep savior for better, better nights and brighter mornings. So I have tried this before, and I'm gonna have to admit that it's a little too fragranced for me. So it's a little too, it's the different um, essentials that they have in it, essential oils, I'm assuming that's what it is. So I'm trying to see which ones are in here so I can warn you if you guys don't like anything very potent either. Um, well, let me see, it's got cinnamon, camphora, uh, leaf oil, lavandula, lavender oil, um, chamomile, patchouli i think that's what i don't like in here i think it's the patchouli i don't like because it's, it's very potent so if you don't like patchouli i don't recommend this but if you do then you're gonna love it all right the next one is number what did we just do 16 yeah or 17 now so here's 17 so this is what it looks like and ooh, it's bubble wrap we have some bubbles for later oh my gosh <laughs> oh, I almost dropped. Let's see what we have here. We have the Am Nor Amorveca Budapest. This is a very expensive brand, I'm pretty sure. This is the Silver Skin Saver. Um, I'm not sure exactly how this is used, but I will definitely be looking into it to figure out what to do with it because I know Amorveca, Amorveca I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm butchering it, I'm sure. This is a really good brand, so I'm excited about trying that out because I haven't tried. I think maybe one other thing is the only thing I've ever tried from their brand. 
All right, now we're on to 18. We're getting out to the nitty gritty, guys. So here's what this one looks like. And unwrap it. And we have the Sleek Makeup Hydrating Primer. Sleek Makeup is a really great brand if you're looking for some very affordable eyeshadow palettes. I haven't tried their primers out, but it says hydrating, so that gives me high hopes, which I'm thinking they also probably did that on purpose because of like being like winter months coming up. So everybody's gonna need a little bit more moisture into your skincare. So that's awesome. All right, and the next one is number 19. Was that 19? No, I thought I already did it. Here we go, 19 right here. And here's what it looks like. And we have something by Anastasia. This is the Lash Brag Volumizing Mascara. So I have not tried this, so I'm very excited. So here's what the packaging looks like. It's like ombre effect. It's very lightweight, but it feels like metal. So that's pretty cool. And let's see what the wand looks like to it, because that's important to me. The wand is not terrible, so I'm excited about that. Very excited. So excited. All right, now we're on to number 20. So here is number 20, and there's what's in the box. And let's see, we have Mio. This is the Clay Away Body Cleanser. It's a two-in-one wash and mask. That's unusual. I have not seen a wash and mask. So I'm excited about this. This is a apply this versatile wash to wet skin all over your body and thoroughly rinse off. Oh, this is for your whole body, not just for your face. Ooh, body cleanser, it says. Well, if you read, that probably would have been helpful, right? <laughs> So anyway, I'm very excited about that. I've never, never heard of Mio either. Let me know if you guys have ever heard of the brand Mio. Not me. Now we're on to 21. Oh man, we're getting down to the nitty gritty for real. Here's there. Here's there. Here's what's in the box. All right, we have Filgoria. I have tried this before. I used Filgoria when we went to Florida. And literally, I only used that for like the time we were there. I saw results. By the time we came home, I had run out of it and I was like, whoa, I need to get some more of that, but it's pretty expensive. So this is the Tom Filler. This is the Absolute Wrinkle Correction Cream. I'm gonna be using this in th that area right here where I'm starting to see a lot more wrinkles. And of course, you know, my hot dog pack, that needs to get covered a little bit as well. So I'm very excited about that. Number 23. Two more to go, guys. Oh, I knew I was gonna drop it. My dogs are sitting right back here, so thankfully nobody got hurt in the dropping of the box. So here's what it looks like. And we have the Advent. This is the Rose Quartz Hyaluronic Sweet Almond Avocado Oil. Whoa, what is this? This is a firming mask. Oh, I'm excited about that. Advent, that's another brand I have never heard of, so I'm going to give it a little bit of a whiff. It's got a little safety seal on here, which is great. And let's see, what do we got here? Oh, it smells really good. It's got a really light floral rosy scent to it, but nothing strong at all. Ooh, I'm very excited about that. Mm, it's a firming mask too. You can tell it's a little bit more firming than it is moisturizing because even putting it on, it makes your skin feel like not that it's not moisturized. It just feels a little bit more taut. Do you know what I mean? So I love the way that feels. All right, number, oh, I said two more. Did I skip one or something, guys? Yep, I skipped 22. Well, let's go back to 22. So let's go back here to 22. Here is this one. And we have Caudalie. This is the Caudalie Vina Pure, the Purifying Gel Cleanser. I've tried lots of things from Caudalie, and I, this is another brand that I really think is a good brand. I don't hear a lot about it, and I feel like it's a very underrated brand, but I've had really good luck with it, so very excited to have a cleanser. Now we have 24, and 24 looks like this. Oh, another little pencil item. I didn't even realize what was in there. I just kind of showed you and didn't even see myself. Let's see what it is. Let's see if we're still recording. Yes, we are, thankfully. All right, let's see here. Oh my gosh. This one's really wrapped up well. This is the Lord & Berry Perfect Brow Magic Brow Definer. It's in the shade 1706 Brunette. I can make this work. It's got a spoolie on the end. 
and then it's got the sharpened style pencil here and there's the color it's a little bit more of a warm brown so very excited about that and then last but not least we have this one right here number 25 and in number 25 we have whatever's in here dun, 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 dun. here we go so number 25 is the spa 24 hour moisturizer 24 hour balancing moisturizer i've never heard of spa it's spelled e-s-p-a never heard of this brand but i'm very excited this is a oh this is very like liquidy so let's give it a little tap and i'll put it on my hand here and see how it moisturizes it has a very nice scent to it it's got a little bit of an herbal scent to it so it smells really good though what is the ingredient in here that i can smell the herbs in here oh it doesn't have an ingredient list so i'll have to go online to find an ingredient list but I'm very excited about that. So all in all, I think you have some really fantastic things to look forward to in a advent calendar, especially this one right here. So if it happens to come back in stock, I would highly recommend it. If it doesn't come back in stock, definitely check out Look Fantastic, their website that I'll have listed below. They have tons of other advent calendars that you can check out. So this is the time where we get these cute advent calendars and we're getting ready for December. So that way there you can either gift them to somebody or you can do it yourself. So they're really fun to use. They're really fun to have like a little gift, a little boost, a little pick me up. So anyway, thank you so much to Look Fantastic for sending me this box. Let me know what you guys think of this. Do you think it is a really cool box or do you think that something that you would pass on? Let me know. The only thing I'm wishing is that there would have been a little bit more makeup in it. It's got, it's very skincare heavy. Other than that, for me, I think it's really cool. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, I'll catch you guys later.